Hi, and welcome to this Masters Open Day. Uh, I'm Emily Auwans, and I'm here with my colleague, Amber Auwenil. And we are from the Master Biopharmaceutical Sciences. I am the study advisor and the coordinator, as well as Amber. And I would like to give the word to my colleague for this next section. So, welcome. Um, so we are the study advisors of the Master Biopharmaceutical Sciences. The Master Biopharmaceutical Sciences is the master from the Leiden Academic Center of Drug Research, in short, LSCDR. Today, we will first discuss the LSCDR. Afterwards, we will discuss the master program in a short overview. And then we will discuss some job opportunities. And uh, at the end, we will discuss the admission procedure. So the Leiden Academic Center for Drug Research, or LSCDR, is a center of excellence for multidisciplinary research on drug discovery and development. It's an academic research institute, and uh, it researches innovative drug design. It has three educations, the bachelor, a master, and a PhD program, and it is located at the Bioscience Park in Leiden. We have made a very nice movie about the LSCDR, which we invite you to have a look at on YouTube. The link is at the bottom of this presentation. So the research at the LSCDR is mostly focused on preclinical development. Uh, however, all aspects of research for drug development are included in the LSCDR. The LSCDR has three divisions, biotherapeutics, drug discovery and safety, and systems biomedicine and pharmacology. The division of biotherapeutics focuses on advancing innovative biopharmaceutical concepts to intervene in autoimmune light disorders. The division of drug discovery and safety focuses on advanced imaging-based phenotypic screening of drug targets and drug lead discovery. The Division of Systems Biomedicine and Pharmacology focuses on personalized medicine and development of novel systems-based approaches in translational and clinical pharmacology. Emily will now discuss a little bit more about the master program. So um, our master is a research master. And this means that we have a two-year program. We have a general part in the first year and then in your second year, you will do a specialization. We have research, business studies, science communication and society, education, and industrial pharmacy. But first, something about the general part. It's the same for every master student, um, although the content of the components can differ. In September or in February, we'll start with the introduction course. You will write your proposal for your RP1 and you will do a division-specific exam. We also include academic English, a scientific conduct, as comp uh, components of this introduction course. Then in October or in March, depends on when you're st starting your masters, uh, you'll do uh, your research project one. It's a nine-month project at one of the divisions of the LSCDR. It's eight months of practical work, a month of writing your thesis, and then you'll um, finish with doing a colloquium or presentation in front of your peers. The general part also contains the course Advanced Academic Skills and Career Orientation. Here you will learn about uh, academic skills, uh, like presentation skills, uh, also writing skills, uh, like the academic English, but also go to congresses, uh, do workshops, um, well, and many more things. It will take about a year, maybe a year and a half, to complete this course. Another mandatory course is a BPS lecture series. I'll come back to that later. In your second year, you will choose a specialization. We have a research specialization and non-research specializations. So for the research specializations, um, they are linked to the divisions of the LRCDR. We have biotherapeutics, drug discovery and safety, and systems biomedicine and pharmacology. I have mentioned the non-research specializations. It is important for science and education and industrial pharmacy 
that you uh, speak Dutch uh, sufficiently. And the industrial pharmacy specialization is open to only two uh, master students every year. For the other specializations, there are no uh, limits in the capacity of students. This also is true for the research specialization. The research specialization is our biggest specialization. We will focus on that specialization in this presentation. If you have questions about the other specializations, please, co please come to our information market on November 5th. Here you can see an overview of the program. So as you can see, when you start your master, you will start with the introduction course. Then you will write, uh, you will do your research project one, writing your thesis and doing a presentation. There is one mandatory lecture series and the advanced academic skills course. Then in the second year, you will go on and do your specialization. So we have research, business studies, uh, science communication and society, and education. I have left the industrial pharmacy specialization out of this overview because it's a very special one. Of course, if you want more information about this, you can come to us or ask about it at the information market. In this overview, you will see all mandatory parts of the specialization. If you want more information, go to the website of every specialization. So in your second year of the research master, so when you choose the research specialization, you need to do your uh, free, um, free room in your um, specialization is 15 EC. Like we said, you can shape your own master, your own program. So every student needs to do 15 EC of courses, but every student can choose uh, how to um, make out those courses. You can choose one of our faculty, the Faculty of Science, you can choose one of the uh, University of Leiden, or you can choose one from other universities in uh, the Netherlands or abroad. Here you see a list of our lecture series. Like I said earlier, one is mandatory in your general program, so in the first year, but in the second year you can also choose from this list to fill up your free room. The second mandatory part of your research specialization is the literature study. It's for 7 EC. The literature study is a five-week uninterrupted study um, where you hit the books and you um, do research, uh, not practical research, but qualitative research. You will find a LSDR staff member to guide you and to help you and to supervise you and in the end to assess your literature study. Most students will end their master with the research project too. It's a project of six months and you can do it wherever you want. Uh, you can choose an academic medical center, like the LUMC or UMC in Utrecht. Uh, we have options at the Center of Human Drug Research or at a pharmaceutical company like Janssen, uh, Merck, Intravac, uh, Procure, you name it. There are lots of options. Or you can go abroad if you want. It's not mandatory, but a lot of students um, find it really nice to go abroad in this period of their master. There are a lot of options, like you can see here. We named a couple of countries where students of us uh, went. If you um, want to go abroad, then we have an international office who can help you with your dreams. Your research project two um, will take six months and you will end it again with a thesis. After this, we hope to uh, congratulate you with the graduation of your master. After you graduated, there are a lot of job opportunities. We are a research master, so you are admissible uh, to a PhD program. Uh, it doesn't matter which specialization you did. But a lot of our students also go on to do a career, career in the pharmaceutical and biotech companies. Um, some of the students uh, will hang around in the uh, company that they did their RP2. So, um, it's uh, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's um, um, a really nice opportunity for you to do your RP2 in a company where you would also like to work. 
So why would you want to choose our master? Well, you can choose your own program. The components are the same for every student, but you can uh, choose and fill out the content of your master. You will learn lots of practical skills because of the 24 months the master contains, 50 of those will be uh, in a project, so your RP1 and your RP2. You will develop soft skills because you are part of a research group. And you will develop writing and presentation skills um, because uh, you will be writing a few theses and you'll be present presenting your academic research to your peer group. We have excellent job opportunities at the university, as a PhD student, or at a academic medical center, or at one of the pharmaceutical science, um, pharmaceutical industry um, companies, also the ones at the bioscience parks, but everywhere in the Netherlands and also abroad. If you are interested in our master and you want to join us, Amber will tell you how. So, how to enroll for the master BPS? First, you go to StudyLink, where you can admit yourself to the master. You can only admit yourself to one of the research specializations. If you want to do one of the non-research specializations, you can change this afterwards. Because in the first year, you, everyone will start with the general components. This is something that you can still change later on and not something that you have to decide from the beginning. As Emily already mentioned, the master starts twice a year, once in September and once in February. You will admit yourself to one of the research specializations and because of the RP1, which is in the very beginning of the master, we will already match you to a research project at one of the divisions of the LSCDR. For everyone who has studied Biopharmaceutische Wetenschappen at Leiden University, you are directly admissible to the master. We will match you with a project of your choice or a project that fits your uh, desires for the future. More information about this you can find on the website, but also on the Brightspace of the Bachelor Biopharmaceutische Wetenschappen. If you have another bachelor degree, which is uh, your application will be evaluated by the admission committee. More information about the requirements of your bachelor you can find on our website. There you can also find the deadlines for admission and all other things you need to consider before admitting to our master. Please motivate the choice for your RP1 in a motivation letter at your application. This is very important so that we can match you to a project that matches your um, interests. So we hope to see you at the Master Biopharmaceutical Sciences. Um, here you can find some email addresses that you can uh, email if you would like to have more information. Otherwise, you can also come to the um, digital stand that we have at this open day. Thank you very much.